Good evening. Welcome to the 21st Annual Charles H. Houston Black Tie Gala, sponsored by the Black Law Student Association of now the Western Michigan University Thomas M. Cooley Law School. My wife Judy and I are regular attendees of this event. However, uh, due to scheduling conflicts, we were unable to come this evening. I am Hugh Clark, graduate of the Clark Class 1979 of Cooley Law School. I currently sit as a district court judge in the city of Lansing. It, the event this evening takes on special meaning. It was approximately 40 years ago that the Black Law Student Association was founded. In September of 1977, former Michigan Supreme Court Justice and Law School founder Thomas E. Brennan approached me. He was concerned about the attrition rate and the number of uh, black students at Cooley Law School. He asked if I would undertake a task of organizing the handful of students at that time who were at the law school in an effort to try and see if we could work together and what we could do to increase the graduation rate. As a second year law student, I accepted that challenge. We met regularly amongst ourselves to decide what could we do as students to help and assist each other. From those humble beginnings, this organization has grown. I feel like a parent watching as my children have all grown up to look at some of the events that are done now, storing outlines for students, mentoring young students, uh, doing bar review courses, and their outreach and work into the community is truly uh, a blessing and showing how much these students care and what they've done to assist and help Cooley Law School. The subject matter tonight, I think you will enjoy hearing from as I call him, your substitute guest speaker, since I couldn't be there, but my good friend, former Michigan Supreme Court Chief Justice Robert Young, and good evening to you, Bob. The issues we talk about or you'll hear tonight show the need that those of us in the legal community work hard and that we must work hard and work diligently for those people who are accused of criminal offenses who may not be guilty. We all, we know all too much how many people have recently, over the past few years, been released from prison through various innocence projects because they weren't guilty of the offense. Dedicated lawyers are needed. You must work hard. You must prepare and go the extra mile. I've been involved in some of these cases during my 30-year practice before I took the bench. And I'll tell you, nobody wants to see an innocent person convicted. But we as lawyers, messengers of the law, stewards of it, must work hard. I would ask each of you to pay close attention to your guest speakers this evening, and in particular to former Chief Justice Bob Young. Again, I'm sorry that my wife and I cannot be there, but certainly our wishes are with you this evening for a happy 40th anniversary and a great evening this evening. Thank you so much.